Good morning and welcome to Love Bites. My name is Katie and I am a holistic health and life coach. And Love Bites is a weekly series where I jump on here and talk about something small, nice and quick, um, that will help you bring a little more love into your life for yourself. This week we are talking about centering yourself and this is so important. I know that I am not the only one who sometimes feels kind of scattered, like my energy is being pulled in a million different places. Um, this happens to all of us, right? And what we really need to do is understand, number one, how to recognize it, uh, but then like, what do you do about it? Um, and what do you do about it in a quick, practical way? Not in a like, I need a vacation away from my life, but like in that moment, what can you actually do about it? So today we're gonna go over three quick, easy, simple things that you can do in like five minutes or less um, that can really help you when you need some centering. So if you are watching, whether you are live, whether you're on the replay, say hello, tell me where you're watching from. And without further ado, let's get into it. So feeling centered or feeling off center. This will feel slightly different for everybody, but basically it is that feeling of being scattered, of like internal chaos. I heard a quote this morning, which I wish I could remember it word for word, but it was something like, peace doesn't mean being out of the storm. Peace means being in the center of chaos, but feeling calm inside. And when I heard that, and I will post the proper quote when I am finished, because I know that's not exactly it, but when I heard that, I just went, oh yeah, that's true. Like, that's what peace is. Peace is not taking yourself out of every single stressful situation that you could ever be in. Peace is learning how to be in that stress and still feel calm and still feel centered. So when we are in that space where we feel not calm and not centered and we are here and we are here and we are here and whether it is a situation maybe um, something at work is pulling you maybe you have some family drama maybe you have a person in your life whose energy maybe just doesn't vibe with you and maybe you feel like you're constantly being pulled what do you do about that so we have three things today like i said each of these can be done in five minutes or less and they are all going to help you when you need centering the first thing is grounding. Now I've talked about this before, I've written a blog post on it, I'll post it in the comments when I'm finished. Grounding is exactly what it sounds like. Grounding is getting your skin in contact with the earth. And the premise behind this is that we are energetic beings and we have an electrical current in our body. Um, like an energetic current maybe is a better way to put it, but it can be, this is science, right? I'm not making this up. Like it can actually be um, detected. And when we live a life where we are separate from the earth and we are never actually in contact with anything that can exchange energy with us and bring us back into balance, we can get a long way off center. Um, and then being in situations or being around people who further kind of pull our energy everywhere can exasperate that. So by getting in contact with the earth, you can help balance out your actual physical energy within your body, which can balance your mood and really help you just like come together. So to ground, it's as simple as touching the ground. Go outside in your bare feet in the grass for five minutes. If you're uh, you know, at work and you're out on your lunch break, go find a park. If you're in the city, go find a park and take your shoes off and walk around on the grass. Um, this can also be, you know, it doesn't have to be grass, it can be sort of any natural substance, stone, dirt, sand, what have you. Um, but it has to be real. This is also something like gardening, getting your hands in the dirt, touching the plants. Right? There are a lot of things that you can do. There's also, um, and in the blog post, there are links to it. There's also different things that you can do to help you ground. Say if you live in a cold climate, if you don't actually want to touch the ground, if you're going to get frostbite if you touch the ground, there are still things that you can do to make this happen. I'll, again, I'll link that in the comments. So grounding is one of those things, super simple, costs nothing, literally five minutes or less touching the ground, you will notice a difference. If you've ever gone for a walk in the park barefoot or gone for a walk on the beach and afterwards just felt so happy and calm and not known why, 
there's a good chance that's why. The next one is using essential oils. Now, I use these every day, um, but honestly, I use them because they work, okay? This isn't some like crazy off the cuff thing. They really do work and they, they, you don't need anything fancy. Like literally, you have a bottle, you open it and you sniff it. So this is something you can toss it in your purse. You can have it with you again, have it with you at work, when you travel, whatever it is. If you are feeling like you need some centering, grab an oil. And there's lots of different oils that are good for centering. Um, I have two blends with me today and one single oil. The blends I have, the first one is Balance. It is called the Grounding Blend. It's, the, it's a base of mostly sort of trees, tree smells. Um, it's very green, it's beautiful, um, and it really, it brings that balance back into your life. So again, sniff it right from the bottle, put one drop in your palms, rub your palms together to heat it up, and smell. Like even just that, I can smell it in my hands already. It's beautiful. So that, super, super simple. Literally, when you smell an oil, within seconds, it actually goes into your brain, it affects the limbic system in your brain, which is where your emotions are processed. So this is scientific, I'm not making this shit up. And if you want sources, tell me and I will give them to you, okay? The next blend I'm gonna talk about is called Anchor, also called the grounding blend. Anchor is part of the uh, yoga line. Um, this is a blend that is beautiful and it is very different from balance, but we'll do, huh, we'll do the same thing for you. Again, smell it straight out of the bottle, put one drop in your palm, rub your palms together. Um, it's always good to have different options and try different things because what smells amazing to me and what really helps me feel centered and calm won't always do the same for you. Every body is different um, and how the chemicals within the oils react with our own body chemicals is all different. So you do kind of sometimes have to try some different things. The third one, this is a single oil, is cedar wood. Cedar wood reminds me of Canada in the springtime. I love it. It's the most beautiful, beautiful smell. But it's also great because if you think of a tree, any tree, cedarwood is just one example. There's lots of different trees that, that you have essential oils from. Trees are strong. They are rooted. They have roots that go deep into the earth and they are stable. They are flexible. They move in the wind, but they are centered and they are balanced. So anytime you smell the oil of a tree, you're getting that same effect, essentially. So I really wanna encourage you, if you feel like you need more centering, more balance in your life, and you need it to be quick, and you want it on hand, and you don't really know, try them. Don't write them off before you try them. Really simple, really effective. Um, awesome, these are just three examples, right? There's also a whole, a whole lot more, but we don't, we're not gonna talk about all of them. And then the third tip that I wanna give you is go in. Go inside. If you feel like you need centering, if you feel like you need balance and you're all over here and your energy is scattered, what we need to do is suck it in, tune in to yourself. And this can be through um, different means, different means for different people. One of my favorite things is to literally just breathe deep. If I'm feeling like I'm everywhere and I'm scattered and sort of chaotic, if I just pause, and I've literally, not joking, done this in, the ba in a public bathroom stall, okay? You don't need anything fancy for this. Two minutes, find a space where you can go, close your eyes, and take 10 slow, deep breaths. And during those 10 breaths, you will feel yourself being pulled again, you'll feel yourself being scattered again, but if you can focus on your 10 slow, deep breaths, that is often enough to bring you back into yourself. And if you happen to be in a space where you have five minutes, you have a bit more time, maybe a bit more privacy, I'd really encourage you to just try a little short meditation. Um, meditation is next week, for the next two weeks, um, starting on Monday, we are going to be doing a bit of a deep dive into meditation in the Freedom Health Style Tribe, um, where we really kind of break it down a little bit more. We're gonna do some lives, there'll be some meditations, blogs, all that sort of stuff. But meditation is not woo woo, meditation is not religious. Meditation is the practice of being totally in the present with yourself. So by, again, by sitting for five minutes, closing your eyes and tuning into your breath, slowing down your breath, being conscious of your body, 
and really just focusing your mind on your breath instead of on the million thoughts in your head, that is one of the best centering practices you can have. Again, this is free, right? Like these things are not complicated, they are not time consuming and they're not expensive, but they are all things that are really underutilized by a lot of people um, and they can make a massive, massive, massive difference in your life. So again, I just want to go over the three things um, that you can do when you need to be centered. Number one, ground yourself. Ground your body, touch the earth in some way. Number two, use tools such as essential oils. These are so simple, so easy, toss them in your bag, they go with you anywhere, and they're really effective. Like within seconds, they can impact your mood. And number three is tune into yourself. And that looks like deep breathing, right? Maybe 10 deep, slow belly breaths, or maybe a five minute meditation. And any of these things, all of them combined are of course amazing, but if you just start by picking one and really focusing on that one and getting really tuned into yourself and just observe and find what works best for you, when you are feeling chaotic, when you are feeling like you are not at peace, like you do not have that sense of calm, um, any one of these three things will really help bring you back to center. So I hope that this is helpful for you. I hope that this helps you show yourself just a little bit more love. And if you are gonna, <coughs> excuse me, if you're gonna try these, tell me, comment below, tell me what you are most keen to try. What are you most interested to try out? All right. <clears throat> I need to get some water, got a scratchy throat. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next week.